Hi YouTube, happy Monday, happy Veterans Day. It's taken quite a while, but I finally figured out how to transfer files to and from my Linux machines using a library called Kahoot. This library succeeds original original programs X for 9860 and P7 and allows you to do everything that's stated here. Transfer storage files from and to FX9860G compatible calculators over USB and serial links. Receive programs from all Casio calculators since 1991 over USB and serial links. Convert between character encodings. This is really cool. Scre stream screens, screen streaming from FX9860G, FXCG, and compatible calculators over USB links. This means I can do a demo on the calculator and record the screen in real time. Super, super cool. Uh, you know, a direct screen capture, and that'll be very, very cool to try doing within OBS Studio at some point in the future. Flashing FX9860G uh, compatible using the FX remote method. I guess I could update the firmware using that method then. The project is maintained by Thomas Tuhi, who is in the UK, I guess originally from France. You can find the project at https colon slash slash kahootproject.org slash index.html. And it's talked about in multiple different places. Let me just go ahead. Um, I installed Kahoot through, well, I didn't actually install Kahoot. I built it from source, which wasn't all that difficult. There's some directions here that I followed pretty quickly. And what I'll just do is show you how you can get info about your graphing calculator and transfer one file that I have on flash storage. I've been able to transfer back and forth between flash storage, but I haven't succeeded with transferring to RAM. And that file I'm going to transfer is that NQueen's benchmark that I've just named Benchmar. I, th I think because there's a eight letter limit for the length of file names in uh, Cas in Casio uh, FX in the Casio graphing calculator's operating system. Okay, so let's go ahead and get information from the calculator. I'm I have a uh, mini USB cable that's long enough for you all to be able to see this on the webcam, and I have my FX 9860G2 graphing calculator, USB Power Graphic 2. And I'll go ahead and connect this, and you'll see a screen that will say Select Connection. I believe you can see that. I'm going to press F1 for Data Trans. Go ahead and press F1 for Data Trans. You should see a screen like this. Let me move my, um, move my webcam a little bit so you can see that better. And right now, nothing's going to happen up until... I pull up my prompt and I do sudo dot slash p7 info. There's also the x for 9860 utility that's a little less advanced. And there we go, a bunch of information about the calculator and you should see complete press eggs on the screen. Each time you want to receive or transfer you have to go back and press, um, I think pretty much all these are in receive mode, so you have to press the appropriate function key for receive. Okay, okay maybe I should tip that a little bit. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and press receive again, that's F2. And now what I'll do on the screen, the Linux machine screen is do uh, sudo dot p7 just help really quick to make sure I remember it and get the subcommand for getting a file from the calculator. So I'll do sudo dot slash p7 get uh, bench mar dot g1m this is a file that I've copied to the flash memory from RAM. And boom, that's complete. 
Let's go ahead and do LSLA here. And we have at 11.27 uh, p.m. Benchmar.g1m copied over. I'll go ahead and get myself in view instead of the calculator and press exit here and then menu. Just return to the main menu on the calculator. And just confirm that this is the same size as it is on in Flash. It's not really helpful, but it's you know nice to see some something that looks close to what I had stored on the calculator when I just cat benchmark.g1m. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the size is appropriate here by going into the memory manager. Wait, let me exit there. Menu. Going to, oops, oh, let me turn that again. Going to um, memory in the main menu after pressing menu. And if I look at, um, press F2 to look at storage memory, voila, benchmark.g1m is 248 bytes, exactly as it is on the computer. So I've done a successful file transfer, and that's my first demo of P7 and X for 9860. X for 9860 is not, I, I could try try this, but it's, it's not all that different from, from P7. It just doesn't give quite as, infor as much information in the um, information field. But that's, that's pretty much it. It's, it's um, not all that um, complicated. Let me go ahead and just since we have a little time here, show you X for 9860 uh, download. Let's do sudo X for very easy to get files back and forth here. What I'll do in a future demo is copy CBASIC, which is an, an enhanced Casio BASIC over to this calculator using P7. And then after that, I'll do a demo of CBASIC and show just the IDE and menus there, and then maybe some sample programs within within. Casio Basic. Also, I'm really excited about the potential to do a screen capture using, I, I'm not sure if it was um, P7. Let me check really quick here what the application was. P7 screen. There we go. So let's do Xfer 9860D file name. Let's see. Uh, bench mar.g1m bench mar copy.g1m put this again in to receive mode I'll just show you that again that's in receive mode and press enter and it looks like that was successful And with that, I wrap up that quick demo of how to transfer files from your Casio FX graphing calculator. I've, I've just done this with my FX9860G2, but I also have an FX7400G Plus for which I'll need to build a three pin USB TTL serial interface. And I'll try seeing if I can do the same transfers just to the main memory with 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 that calculator but you know this is it's nice how fast this is it's a lot more seamless than i expected i think when i had used my ti graphing calculators it wasn't quite this simple even in linux i remember it was more complicated but i think you did get a um, shell to see the files available on your computer versus the files on the uh, ti machine a lot more Casio graphing calculator videos in the future. I'm also thinking about doing a video on the EA100 uh, data logger, you know, live live demo of that. And um, besides that, I have an exciting video, a exciting minimalist computing themed video in store for my 256th YouTube video celebration. And with that, I appreciate your attention. Please like and subscribe as always. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below and have a great one. All right.